Today, we are going to be completing a Year 3 Biological Science lesson, focusing on the topic of life cycles. This unit is located at, sorry, this lesson is located at the start of the unit and is the second or third lesson. Students will be completing a worksheet. They have extension questions and then this is the second page. Students also have prior knowledge of what living and non-living things are. An exemplar is used to show students how to fill out the worksheet. We are also using partner cards, which students are familiar with and have used in the classroom before. They're also familiar and used to using paddle pop sticks. They are also familiar and have frequently used iPads in their lesson and understand the expectations around using these and the use of the website Kittle. So, they're also, sorry, familiar with the expectations in the classroom using the STAR model. They're also familiar with a student teacher game. When students are on track, they get a point. When teachers, when they're not on track or are not following a section, uh, direction, sorry, the teachers then get a point. So, let's start the lesson. In just a second. <laughs> Good morning, Year 3. My name's Miss Cray. My name's Miss Perry. And we're going to be talking about life cycles in science today. Before we start, I just want to go through our expectations in the classroom. You're all familiar with our STAR model. S stands for... Sit tall. Good, that means you're sitting nice and forward in your chair and your arms are parked on the desk. There should be nothing in your hands. T stands for... Track. Oh, let's try that again. I want to see everyone answering. What does T stand for? Track. Awesome work. Track means that your eyes are on the teacher or the board at all times. A stands for? Answer together. That means you are each answering when you are asked a question and hear the signal of the click. And R stands for? Respect. You're respecting yourselves, your classmates, us as the teachers, and any equipment that we give you. Awesome work answering. Year three, I'm going to give you a point for that. Today's learning intention. Identify the stages of a plant or animal's life cycle. What's our learning intention? Get ready. Identify, Identify the stages, stages of a plant or animal's life cycle. Awesome, reading year three. Our success criteria. This is what we want you to be able to do by the end of the lesson. So by the end of today's lesson, you will be able to represent the different stages of an animal or plant's life cycle. So if you can successfully complete our worksheet, then you know you will have been successful in the lesson and maybe you have learned something new. Here are some key vocab. So this is words that you might hear throughout the lesson. So we're gonna have a go at saying these words. Life cycle, what word? Life cycle. Butterfly. Butterfly. Larvae. Larvae. Oh, that's going to be a point to me because not everyone's answering. Let's try these words again. Life cycle, what word? Life cycle. Butterfly, what word? Butterfly. Larvae, what word? Larvae. Caterpillars, what word? Caterpillars. Pupa, what word? Pupa. Chrysalis, what word? Chrysalis. Eggs, what word? Eggs. Awesome work. I love that that second time around, I saw every single person giving it a go. I'm going to give you two student points for your awesome effort today. This is our key definition for the lesson. So today's lesson, we are focusing on the term life cycle. What term are we focusing on? Get ready. Life cycle. Yes, life cycle. The series of changes in the life of a plant or animal. Everybody, what's a life cycle? The series of changes in the life of a plant or animal. Awesome work. What's the series of changes in the life of a plant or animal? Get ready. Life cycle. Yes, life cycle. Remember this definition because you might need to know it for later on in the lesson. Let's have one last good look at it. Life cycle. The series of changes in the life or plant of an animal. I'm going to pass on to Miss Perry who's going to explain our activity for you guys. 
awesome. Today we're going to do a research activity of a life cycle of a certain animal. So first step, you're going to get into pairs. We'll do that a little bit later. Then we're going to choose an animal. We're going to step you through this process first. You choose an animal, then you're going to search on an iPad using the Kittle. Then we're going to use the information to complete the research template. And then at the end, we're going to share some of our awesome work to the class. Alrighty. Once you're in your pairs, you're going to choose the animal that you're going to do your research on. We have chosen, for example, a butterfly. What animal have we chosen? Get ready. Butterfly. Butterfly. Awesome. Okay. Once I've chosen my animal, I'm going to go onto my iPad and I'm going to search on Kittle. What website are we using? Kittle. Kittle. Make sure that you are only using Kittle, not Google or anything else, because Kittle is a safe place for us to be searching things. Alrighty. I'm just going to jump in the crate. Sure, if okay. we see you using something that's not Kittle, the iPad will be taken off you and we will give you a piece of paper that you will get your research from. Yeah, That goes back to showing respect and our star model. Awesome. Once I'm in Kittle, I'm going to search butterfly life cycles. But of course, you're going to search whatever animal you're doing and life cycles. I'm going to look through my results, but usually the first one is the best one to choose. So I clicked on monarch butterfly life cycle and it's on the Science Learning Hub website. Awesome. All right. Once I'm on the website, I'm going to read through it. I'm going to have a look. This is some of the information that we found on our website. It showed us the life cycle. First, it starts as an egg. What does it start as? Get ready. Egg. An egg. Then it moves on to the larvae. This is where it grows an exoskeleton. It eat, likes to eat a lot. And it has a head and a tail. Then it moves down to the pre-pupa. What is it now? Get ready. Pre-pupa. The pre-pupa. This is when it will do its final molt. Next one is the pupa. What is it? Get ready. Pupa. Pupa. This is where it forms its chrysalis, which is like the cocoon that the butterfly comes out of. Um, it takes a little bit of time, and it's going through all the different stages to become the butterfly. What does it become in the final stage? Get ready. Butterfly. The butterfly. This is where it grows its antenna and its little feet. So all that information was grabbed from our website, so you have a really good read of it. Then you're going to come to your um, research template, which we will hand out in a moment. Make sure you put your name and the date at the top so we know whose awesome work it is. Okay, let's look for that one. All right, the first question on the life cycle investigation is what animal did you choose? You'll be given some options for that later, but we chose butterfly. We wrote butterfly in that box. Next one was, what website did you use? We used sciencelearning.org, but you might use a different website like National Geographic. So you would write whatever website you wrote there. Then we write the key information from the website. This can be done in note form. It doesn't have to be complete sentences because you're going to turn it into your life cycle anyway. Here is some of the information that we found. First, it was an egg. The eggs are laid on plants by the adult female butterfly. Then we had the larvae stage, where the egg hatches to a caterpillar. Then we had the pre-pupa stage, where the larva loses much of its patterning and its length decreases, so it gets a little bit smaller. Then we had the pupa, where a chrysalis forms around the caterpillar. Remember we said that was like the cocoon. And then we had the adult stage, where the caterpillar emerges as a beautiful butterfly. Then I would take all that information and I would draw my life cycle. We've set it out so you can fill in little boxes. Oh, make sure you draw some lovely pictures and do some labeling. For a bonus two student points, who can tell me a spelling mistake on our worksheet? Raise your hand if you can see it. Oh, Charlize, what is it? Um, under, li under life si cycle investigation, what animal did you choose? Yes, it should have two. Oh, it's awesome work, Charlize. You're getting two bonus student points. Awesome. I love that you're paying such good attention and focus in the lesson. Great spotting. So we are going to get stuck into our activity. The first thing you're going to do is get into pairs. So I'm going to hand out the pair cards. When you get your match, you are going to sit with that person. You then have some options to choose your life cycles from. You can choose a frog. What can you choose? Frog. A bean plant. Bean plant. A chicken. Chicken. Or a bee. bee. Sorry, or a bee. What else can you choose? Bee. Awesome work. Even though I, you saw I made a mistake, 
You fixed up and still said B. I'm going to give you a student point for that. Awesome work. You're all on top of it today. So once you've done that, you are going to search that on Kittle. So if I did frog, I said frog life cycle on Kittle and then completing the research template with my partner. So we're going, I'm going to start handing these out. Don't move quite yet. Students, if you need extra help while completing the activity, our example is going to be just up here on the board. So feel free to come up and have another look or just raise your hand and either me or Miss Perry will come and help you out. If you finish early, there are two extension questions on the back page. These extension, extension questions are describe each stage of the life cycle. So when you complete this one, it needs to be in full sentences. What does it need to be in? Full sentences. And your second extension question is find three animals with similar life cycles. So we're going to hand out the worksheets and you may now move into your partners. There will be a 15 minute timer on the board and that's the time you have to complete this activity. Off you go. Remember our start expectations when we're using our iPads. Only on Kittle. And your time starting now, they tier three. You have to start discussing which animal you're going to choose with the partner. So you guys are doing frog? That's an awesome one to choose. I love that we're getting stuck into the work. I'm going to give you guys a student point for that one. Awesome work, you three. Classy class! Yes, yes. It is time to put our iPads away, to pop our pencils and park our hands on the desk. Show me you are ready for the next part of our lesson. Awesome work, year three. We followed that instruction straight away. You guys are racking in the student points today. Let's summarize what we've done for the lesson. We're going to look at two reflection questions. So the first thing we're going to revisit that we looked up earlier, what is a life cycle? Remember that definition I asked you to think of earlier? This is why you needed to remember. Then I'm going to choose someone to share their life cycle they research. So I want you to get in your head, what is the definition of a life cycle? Elbow arm up when you know the answer. And picking from my paddle pop sticks, what is the definition of a life cycle, please? Charlize. The series of changes in the life of a plant or animal. That is spot on, Charlize. Can we have two chaps? Clutch for Charlize. And you get a student point. Look at you being a team player. Our second question, share your life cycle. Everyone, I hope you're ready to share. You don't know who the six gonna call out. Xanthi, can you share? What animal did you and your partner choose? Uh, we chose the frog. Oh, frog, I like it. What website did you look at? We looked at National Geographic Kids. Oh, oh very reliable source. And tell us about your key information. What did you find out? Uh, so stage one was eggs, um, where they lay hundreds of tiny eggs in a clump together. Stage two was teeny tadpoles, uh, where the baby frog hatches into the world. And step three is a fully grown frog. Awesome work, Xanthi. I love that you gave us some detail on those stages as well. Can we please have two claps for Xanthi? So let's reflect back to our success criteria now that we're at the end of the lesson. Our success rate criteria was you should be able to represent a life cycle of a plant or animal. Give me an elbow up, up if you finish your life cycle drawing. I saw some pretty awesome drawings in there, so I should see lots of hands up. Awesome work, year three. That means you were all successful in the lesson because you met our success criteria. Let's give ourselves two claps. You guys have had an awesome lesson. You got 11 student points to only one teacher point. That is fantastic and we'll be going on our big tally later today. Thanks for an awesome science lesson.